if you move into New Zealand and you tell people, they're going to say this to you. They're going to say, oh, you won't be able to get that when you move to New Zealand. Oh, you won't be able to find that. You're going to really miss that. And, you know, he'd say to you, do you miss anything? And it's like, to be honest, mate. Yeah. And he looked at me like, sort of crestfallen as if like, what's wrong with ours? In this week's show, we're going to share with you seven things that people told us there was no way we were going to be able to find those in New Zealand and discover if they were right. It's a drama coming to you from Dunedin, New Zealand. Hello. Daddy, I love you. Mother thanks you. Right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. Hello and welcome to It's a Drama Podcast. I'm Liz. And I'm Brian. And today we are here with you from Dunedin, yeah. from our Airbnb in Dunedin. Yeah. We're so excited about that. We have to say we're actually Port Chalmers, Dunedin area, yeah. but Port Chalmers just outside of Dunedin. Yeah. Oh, okay. Here is, we are. Is Port Chalmers not in Dunedin then? Well, well, it's part it's of Dunedin. Someone, someone out there is just going to say, hey, that church is in Port Chalmers. So today we are super excited. We're bringing you a podcast titled What You Will Not Miss When You Come to New Zealand. And the reason we're bringing that to you is because we're Liz and Brian, husband and wife. We have lived in New Zealand for 12 years. We moved over here from the UK 12 years ago. Yep, we did. And we've had, we've done so much ranting and raving about the things that we missed. Yeah, I know. Since we've been in New Zealand. Yeah. And we're like, oh, you can't get that. You can't get this. You only need to go back and look at our past videos and you'll see us having a little moan about the things that we can't get. And we've come to Dunedin and we're like, oh, my God. Oh, oh yeah. we're going to look like idiots. Yeah. So we better just start making another video. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason why they call it the Edinburgh of the South. Yeah. There really, really yeah. is. So yeah. just to give you a backstory, we have left Tadanaki for our holidays. We've come down to Dunedin for 14 days and we are in love with the place. Yep. But that is going to be another story. We're going to make you a, a vlog about that. Yeah, we've done vlogs. We've done. We've just finished a vlog today, so we, it's, it's getting a little bit late now. And you know, so we might start to lose the light, and we'll get a little bit dark. It's going to be atmospheric. So, atmospheric down south. Yeah, because we yeah. desperately wanted to bring you this um, podcast from this balcony where we're yeah. staying because it's got that beautiful church the in the church, background. That, there it is. There, where are we? That way? Yeah, uh, we're that. like, oh, still have time. We've been really busy today. Been doing like loads of stuff, vlogging yeah. and stuff. And we're like, let's just get back and do this. So please bear with us. If the light does start to go a bit dodgy, know that we're doing this because we wanted to do it for you. Yes, because <laughs> th th that church, 24-hour church, as in it chimes 24 hours a day oh, it might it? chime while we're doing this yeah. what time is it, it time is 8 36 so okay so no, if we get we'll it try if, get done by if we get it if you done wait to the end <laughs> you're gonna hear it go clang at nine o'clock and it'll probably be getting dark by then yeah yeah sunset so, at 9 15 today we said to each other let's be super quick stop the waffle let's just get on so number one thing that you will not miss when you come to new zealand Dogs. <laughs> is a bloody barking dog. No, it's, it's architecture. Yes. Architecture, Brian. Yeah. And I have missed architecture. Me too. I, I've moved, we moved to New Zealand and even I've worked with architects designing green schools and things like that. And, you know, he'd say to you, do you miss anything? And it's like, to be honest, mate, I miss the architecture. Yeah. And he looked at me like, sort of crestfallen as if like, what's wrong with ours? Yeah. And it's like... Oh, I, I just mean like Victorian E style Georgian architecture, you Pretty know, Edwardian Tudor, just those old ancient buildings, yeah. like, you know? Yeah. And coming to Dunedin. Well, we came to Dunedin. Reborn. <laughs> Hallelujah. Right, we came to Dunedin. <laughs> this Airbnb is built in the 1880s. Yeah, 1880s. we came to New Zealand. We, we came to uh, Dunedin and we've booked in this Airbnb. Well, that was the first bit of a shock because it was built in 1880. Yes. Born in 1880. We'll give you a buzz around on some back footage or whatever. You know. And it's just yeah. this beautiful flat. Well, that was lovely because it's like, oh, my God, like this is like being, you know, back in the 1800s. Like, yeah. you know? Just like, yeah, but our first house we bought was in a place called Jubilee Street. Yeah. And so it was Victorian. 1887, yeah. I think that was built. So in New you know? Zealand, like, let's just give you a bit of a backstory here because we moved to New Plymouth in Taranaki, okay? And we have lived there for the last 12 years. We've seen lots of New, D New Zealand, but we've never been as far south as Dunedin. Yep. And so we left in England, we left, uh, we, we've lived in a 300 year old cottage, we've lived in a Victorian house like Bri just said, yep. and we've lived in a 1920s... And we lived in a Georgian bank, which was yeah, built oh in, yeah. the, you know, in the 1700s. So we're used to sash windows and Georgian windows and architrave and picture rail and 
you come to New Zealand, where we've been living, and we built our own house. It's super modern. It's lovely. Yep. But unless you like... There's, there's, in New Zealand, there's things called old villas, and they're old... They're like, yeah, they are the 1920s and things. Like they bungalow even, yeah, things, yeah, aren't they're, they? They're, they're a villa. They're a single-storey house. Nine times out of ten, single-storey house. We don't call them villa in England, though, do we? Yes, we, we, we no, did. We no, you do. You do call them villas. No, you don't. Yes, a villa do. is like a big bloody palace thing. No, you had, you had, you had small villas, which were like... Um, Almost like summer houses, like you know, they're, they're double fronted with the same sort of shape, but oh, they were really? built of stone. I've never heard it called villa because when yeah. someone said, Oh, she lives in a villa, I was literally expecting this ta da! And it was like, yeah, you know, like this huge this, palace, yeah, it was that's what I was expecting. Yeah. And it was a villa in New Zealand. Well, I yeah. think a, New Ze a villa in New Zealand is classed as a, as a, as a pretty little small, small, small sort of colonial style yeah. house. That's yeah. it, right? Yeah. Colonial, yeah. that's it. Yeah. So, anyway, we come to New we come to Dunedin and everywhere around you oh my god it's just gorgeous it the architecture yeah. it just it blows you yeah. away it really does because it's like you know even back in england you can go to places that were literally destroyed in the war and they rebuilt it and you know they left if there was a, a section of a terraced house blown apart from bombs and things like that they would just kind of leave it and build something else in between if you know because they didn't have the money some places like the city centers they would rebuild and and make it as good as they yeah. could you know in the 1940s but here it's just untouched it is it's it's it's, it's, it's like a museum almost of it's, these buildings yeah. that are just gorgeous like you know we went to this place called omaru and honestly it was like stepping yeah. back You've into got... a beautiful you know like charles dickens you see these films that charles dickens you know like uh, uh, what's the film called um oliver twist or something yeah. like that or and you see great the, expectations and, yeah, or and something. they're all gaslights yeah. and lovely carved doors and like big brass knockers and you're like oh and you long for that yeah. you long for it if you've been used to it you come to a new country and you long for it yeah. and it was like we walked down that street it's like oh my god it's just like yeah, someone there's a small washing section you at the port with a warm and it's just blanket yeah, it's, it's just fantastic lovely. you're just like i just didn't know it existed in new zealand yeah and i bet you a lot of people in new zealand don't even know it exists until you come to dunedin you and know? the opera house there yeah. in Amaru, it was, do you remember, you said, oh, look at the yeah, opera house. Just, yeah, and just, because the, the, they've got the square, which is the main sort of town, it's like, a, you know, it's it's not tiny by any stretch of the imagination, no. but, you know, and then the small section around where the port was. going to get a train now, People right? get a train coming down here. You, you know, won't miss trains. You won't miss trains, that's, <laughs> that's another the... thing you won't miss. This thing's coming down a hill, and it's going to go so slow, because it's got its brakes on its engine running. Anyway, we'll keep... Anyway, there we oh, go. Oh, look. There you go. Look it's a drama. There's, you know, we've done, we did one. We did a vlog. We've just done a vlog the other week, didn't we? Where we said there's no real trains, like, you know? And there's one... I know. ...trolling around the back of us, like, you know? And it's going to be super loud. Yeah, and we'll have hundreds of... Uh... Should we just wait until... No, it... no. No? no I keep, keep it going. You can hear me. Okay. Yeah. So... How brilliant is that? I know. There you go. A train <laughs> in New Zealand, everybody. Well, you just heard it coming down the line. And it's got, uh, it's full of containers because we're next to Port Chalmers is a port. Yeah. And it's a, a, it's a big port. It's a beautiful, yeah. beautiful port. This is the first time we've been to, well, not Brian. Brian's been to Dunedin I before came on, on business. On business trip, but this is like, we came and we were like literally gobsmacked. And I just want to apologise publicly <laughs> for ever saying, oh, yeah. I miss architecture in New Zealand. Yeah. Why did no one say to us, well, yeah. I'll tell you what, Liz, get your ass down to Dunedin then. I know. Get down to Amaru yeah. I did say to you, it. didn't I? I remember phoning you from Dunedin. I was standing outside. There's this um, place called the Octagon and there's a cathedral there. And I'm like, I did not know they had buildings no. like this in New Zealand. You know? It's the, the, the just Mason, lovely. You know, the Masons that must have come over from England, Scotland, wherever they yeah. came from, they're just top notch. They were just... Yeah, fantastic it is know? it's just it's proper proper made we you can obviously you can probably tell that we're very like full of it but literally we're here right now on a holiday yeah. but, in Dunedin we, but we, and li we lived just... in bath in england liz and everything there's local stone here which is almost identical to bath stone well that white stone in omaru it's just that, oh, yeah, i know that, that's, that's not bath stone yeah but, but there's white stone but there's that that's that yellow stone and they and do the cheese just, yeah, so not only have you got our, our yeah. lovely architecture you've got the, in the town is the cheese factory that makes the, the white best stone cheese, cheese factory, ever yeah. in the world. It's so unreal, it's isn't like it? a win-win situation. Anyway, right, we're moving on because we're going to lose the light. Right, yep. number two, which is quite similar, so we can skim over this, is the oldness. Yeah. So it's when people when you tell people that you're moving to New Zealand, they'll go, 
oh, it's such a new country, yeah. there's no history, there's no oldness there, there's no deep roots. You've got the mouldy history, yeah. and that is beautiful. That's super deep rooted. But it's, that's it, like, yes. they're the original people yeah. here, aren't they? Like you know. But it's new to us, that Bri. We're it's learning new to us, about we're, it. We're, with us being European, yeah, yeah we're, we're we're learning about that culture, yeah. and it's such so a, it, an amazing culture. To it be. is. So, you know how connected they are to the earth. Yeah. It just blows me away. Like, yeah. You know? It really does. But at the same time, that is something that, like you say, we're learning as yes. as, as, as newbies, we're learning about the Māori yes. culture. Yeah. But it's not in our, in our blood, it's not you know. In our blood. No, no it's not, yeah, because yeah. It, that's we, just we the way it is. We are European as such, yeah. But you go to, like, at the back of here, where we're sitting right now, is an old cemetery. And it, I've never seen, there is, there's one other cemetery that I can say in the world that I've been to that I just, that blew me away, and that was in Florence. I don't know if we've got any video of it. Maybe we can we put some We probably have, out. actually, but yeah. But yeah. this cemetery that, that was we went to. That Pinocchio, wasn't it? Pinocchio's dad, yeah. yeah. We went to the cemetery, and it's just underneath all these pine trees and all these, and it's just. Overlooking Florence, yeah. Oh, no, this one up this here, one. sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. not Pinocchio. Look out, I'm, there talking, it is. I'm, think, I'm still thinking Pinocchio here. <laughs> Move on, Brian. <laughs> yeah, and it's just old, isn't it? It's yeah. just. You know, there's people that have, have died and they're like from the 1800s and it's just, mm -hmm. it's that oldness that you think, oh, he was from Scotland, oh, yep. they were from England, you know. Mm -hmm. There's something about that that you don't, you can't explain it and you will know what I'm talking about because every single one of you will have it. Yep. It's that deep-rooted, that's my history, you know, that's yes. my people, yep. that's my blood, you know, yeah, that's it's it, just... Yeah, yeah. And, they, and they, you know, they had the guts to get in a sailing ship back yeah. then and sail. This was the furthest destination anyone could ever go. Mm. And back then, that, that was it. You know, you had the new worlds to go to and this was the furthest and people chose this to come to. No wonder. You just think, oh, yeah, They'd heard about the pies. That's it. <laughs> the cheese. Yeah. Cheese rolls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, Brian, because we went to the um, the Pioneer the Settlers, Settlers, Settlers Museum, Museum. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we were reading all the stories about it, and like they were in this, you you can go and look for yourself, but it was like uh, they were slept in these bunks in these cabins, didn't yes, they, in this yeah, yeah. central galley where they cooked their food, and they were yeah. on this ship for months and months, like, you yeah. know, and people were, there were some love stories, like people got together and got married, but people mm. lost children and all things like that. Anyway, well, they did back it's then, just, didn't they? just yeah. like that, that was it, yeah. And even in that Settlers Museum, um, there's a whole corner dedicated to Taranaki. I know. And uh, again, we were yeah. drawn to that. I was just like, I don't believe this. I know. And it's basically from uh, Parihaka, which is the uh, one of the pars in um, in Taranaki. That they had because they were just, you know, a peaceful fight against the British, basically. And it just, it just to see the. The, the 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 hat with a white feather oh, in it, and you just think, wow. yeah, yeah, and the mountain. It was. But just, you know what? Yeah. Going back to that history thing, this is really weird because we're in Dunedin. Like I say, we're from Taranaki, and um, we lived there twelve years. And Brian said to me, Liz, come and look at this. And it was in the corner of the museum, yeah. and it was all about the mouldy that had been taken from Taranaki and yeah, put into prison and in Dunedin. Put into prison and yeah. made to make roads and things like that. These and you know, something these great inside me like, you know? was like. Oh, it was just, oh, you know? Yeah. Why did you take why our did, people yes. from Taranaki? Yeah. Leave them in Taranaki, yeah. for God's sake. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's yeah. weird what it, yeah. a place does to you when you've been there long enough and just... Yeah, yeah but that's oh, it. You get that rooted feeling you do. that you say. You it's do. like, you know, it's the deep roots, isn't it? It is, like, you know? and it's, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so... Oldness, it's here if you want to look for it. Yeah. That's the thing. And Just, while we're talking yeah. about oldness, the other thing that me and Brian have said, oh, you won't be able to get this when you come to New Zealand. I mean, we're putting our hands up here. We're being very honest with you. Yeah. We've said a number of times, you can't get a good pub in New Zealand. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We, Where were we the other night? I know. In, in, in a Victorian pub. Yeah. In New Zealand. And do you know how... Drinking Kilkenny or British beer, English beer, yeah. and all the, they're all there. And do you know how I knew it was a proper pub, Brian? Go on. There was a couple of blokes down there. No I'm one pointing, was on the phone. I'm pointing down there. Well, yeah. no, obviously no one was on the phone. You don't no. go to the pub when you're on, on, your on your phone. But there was a they couple of blokes and they were standing up. Yes, that's and I just right, thought, yeah. did you on see the that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and they were yeah. like that, standing yeah. up, drinking their beer. And I thought, yeah, but I went in. I said, you, oh, said, you wanted to sit down. Pal. I said, I'm, I'm standing up. Well, that's because you're a proper man. Yeah. You wanted you to go. be like the big boys. Yeah. But I, I said, no, Brian, sit down. You yeah. need to rest you your legs. You don't go to a pub and sit down. <laughs> Stand up at the bar. Put a hole in the bar with your elbow. 
<laughs> but yeah, so we went to this pub in Dunedin and it was yeah, great, wasn't it? It was great. It really was, yeah. yeah. And just to go in there and just see the an old pub style thing. It's not a bar with televisions. There wasn't one TV screen there. wasn't. In there. And it was all these yeah. chandelier. Oh, noisy Hello, little bird. Like bird. Yeah, he's just up here. There was no. all this dog bird. Yeah. Oh, I hope you're going to be able to hear this. Chandeliers hanging down and just, it was just lovely, wasn't it? It was a posh it, pub. It yeah, really was. A it wasn't pub. like spitting sawdust. No, but it was. But it was a. It I was bet a there pub. are pubs that like that you can go to. Well, you can see that. Yeah, you can see some of them. The way they're painted and everything. You think, yeah. 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 Right. Before we move on, if you are watching this video, yep. and you are interested in moving to New Zealand, <laughs> and you are you louder yeah. than a blackbird, <laughs> <laughs> and you love New Zealand as much as we do, we offer a free five-day video guide, all about moving to New Zealand and what life is like in New Zealand is absolutely free. Mm -hmm. Me and Brian made it because basically when we came over 12 years ago, we couldn't find sod all. We couldn't find anything. We couldn't could find we? anything. We had no one over here. Or no. Anything like and that. we were like, yeah. if only we knew someone that could tell us certain things about the country. So we did that for you. We made this free five day guide. If you haven't signed up for it, it's www.itsadrama.com slash I love NZ. I will put a link up above or up above, yeah. <laughs> wherever it's going to be. Up, be up here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, go and sign up for that because it's absolutely free and it's fabulous. Yeah. So, right, moving on. Number four thing you will not miss when you come to New Zealand is internet speeds. Yep. Brian told me to put this. I don't know what you're going to say, so take it away, Brian. Yeah, so this is me working off the top of my head because Dunedin was the, um, the, the government... Or, or Spark, whoever it was, turned around and said, we are going to make a town or a city in New Zealand a gigatown. All right? Gigatown? A, a gigatown. What's that mean? That means it's going to have super fast internet. Ooh. And Dunedin won. Did it? Yeah. And it was the first Go time. I remember when I came on this business trip and I logged onto their internet and I was used to sort of getting 25 megabits a second and it was like clang, it went off the clock. Did it? And I was like, wow. And I said, what have you got? Have you got any it's like, no, we're a gigaton. We won. And I was like, shit, you did. You won the gigaton. <laughs> and it's just like, so Dunedin has got super fast internet. Right. Yeah, it's really quick. Don't tell Sonny that, our boy, yeah. because he'll be down here like a flash, won't he? Yeah, he would, yeah. So does yeah. that just mean that you can, when you log in onto things, it gets there to it quicker? It's or? just, hey, you, you just think you're at the end of the, the end of the earth down here. You are. You, there's not, there's one more city further south, and that's in Bacargo, mm. but... You know, this is a university city. It's big for its university. It'd have to it's be fast internet. Big then, university. It, yeah, so it's wouldn't. just like yeah. Yeah, they wouldn't yeah. put up with slow internet. The and students. And it's, it's just super quick. Yeah, so it is. So you won't miss yeah. that when you come. Right, yep. number six. No, number five. Cliffs. Yep. You will not miss cliffs when you come to New Zealand, as in cliffs, not like Cliff Richard. No. Cliffs, as in cliffs on the you know by the sea. Cliff. No, by the <laughs> by the sea. You know that jagged yep. cliff. Cornish, beautiful. Oh, it's just, yeah, it's yeah. just, yeah, we, we went for this walk today. We and, were raised in Cornwall you know, in England, by the way, so. Yes, we both were raised in Cornwall, so we love cliffs and out there, and it's just here, down here in the south, there are stacks of cliffs. There are. Yeah, there's lighthouses and these craggy points. We went oh. to a place called Nugget Point today, and they've got these nuggets of rocks sticking out there in the sea. And lighthouse at the uh, it's, it's and cliffs, amazing. sheer cliffs yeah. with all rocks at the bottom and like oh yeah you're, you're was, and you're above so you're above long. the seagulls you can see the seagulls flying yeah, around the and you're above them and it's the just sea yeah, lions the sea, oh, it's just it's paradise oh people honestly yeah. if you haven't been here you yeah. are in for such a blemish treat yeah. you really are because as, as a friend of ours Gordy said you can smell Antarctica I know I know you know yeah. you can smell that coldness it I don't know if chilly, you're watching this Gordy but you said that to me and you're like you can go so far south and you can smell Antarctica you smell the penguins and I'm it, you know when someone says something and to you and it you, really it? sticks with yeah. you and I was like I, I have been saying to Brian on this trip I wouldn't be able to smell Antarctica yeah. I wouldn't be able to we've smell had a few cold days down here yeah. it's, this is like we're just coming into summer so we're just the back end of spring and I think today it said on the forecast 16 degrees, but the car was saying 22, 23. Well, what is and it, it now? We're warm. sitting out here, look. Yeah, I can't hard ass, aren't we? There Taranaki we hardcore. What this, it says it is... 9 o'clock at night. 14 degrees. 14 degrees. Yeah. 
Not soft and softy brits, Bry. No, and there's, no. A, there's, a, there's a wind blowing, but hey. It's bloody freezing. I've got my blanket over my knees. Yeah, you can't see below, okay? <laughs> Hot so water bottle quilt. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, you will not miss Cliff. If, you, if you're like, oh, no. I want to walk on a cliff, just come to Dunedin yeah. and go down to Nugget Point and just walk along all there. It's yeah, just... we, we did a, a podcast about North Island versus South Island. I am and, so embarrassed yeah, about that. So Liz did say something about North Island's got better beaches and it's like, my goodness, I think we got that wrong. We did, didn't we? Well, yeah, yeah. because I'm surprised. Yeah, just, because I didn't just, know. These are paradise beaches, the white, yeah. white beaches just... You know, all right, might be a bit chilly in the water because it's, you know, the Southern Pacific or We'd only whatever. been to, like, Nelson and, you know, Kaikoura and through to Queenstown and... And, uh, and up the... Hokitika we'd been yeah, to, hadn't that's, we? that's sort of, yeah, up, up the West Coast. And so I honestly, hand on heart, did not know that the South Island had such stunning beaches yeah. as we've seen today. Yeah. White, white sand, smooth crystal clear turquoise water yeah. it the is like waves paradise on the, on the, on the, oh, it's just beautiful. it really yeah. is and all i could think was oh my god what did i say on that podcast <laughs> about they had no beaches i'm so embarrassed <laughs> <laughs> so sorry about that yeah, so cliffs and beaches yes, <laughs> yes you won't miss that exactly right yeah. number six you will not miss when you come to new zealand and you will not miss this no, when you, you come to new zealand is asian food yeah for sure you won't will you you just wait no. You know what? Someone said to us, I'm not going to name who in case they're watching, but a member of our family said, oh, I wouldn't really like to go to New Zealand. I wouldn't really like to go to New Zealand <laughs> because we're really into Asian food. And, you know, I like to be able to get my Asian food here in the UK. Uh, he is Australian, though, isn't he? <laughs> and I'm thinking, oh, I have never. It, it, it's abundant in New Zealand. In, yeah. We're having Indian tonight, actually. I might bring yeah. it out in a minute to show you. But we've ordered an Indian because we're doing this podcast. We're like, don't we talk don't want to cook. Food. Oh, yeah. You're, you're just like, when yeah, you're hungry. Exactly. Yeah. And so we've ordered an Indian tonight, but Indian, Thai, Vietnamese, uh, Malaysian, uh, there's so Japanese, there's so much Asian food that you can get here, isn't there, Brian? Yeah, there is. Yeah. It, and it's good. It's good. It's really good. We've been yeah. all over Asia, and this yeah. food is good. So. Yeah. yeah, people want to move here. And so when they come here, they bring these, you know, they're going to bring a speciality type chef yeah. with them to cook. So it's, it's bloody good. We've got a private New Zealand um, community. It's called New Zealand Calling Community. It's a paid for community. It's not really a community. It's more like a family. At the moment, there's a hundred of us in there. And it is like a big family. It's just beautiful. And we all talk and help each other make that move to New Zealand. So me and Brian are here to, you know, be with the people that are making the move over to New Zealand and answer their questions. And I'll never forget this one lady. Um, I think it was Ariel, if you're listening, Ariel, you said, um, what, what, what's the Asian food like over there? And I mm -hmm. remember thinking, oh, I'd always, I always wanted to say to you, oh, there isn't any. And then when you came yeah. over, it'd be like, oh, <laughs> look at all these restaurants, you yeah. know. That we, we, um, we go to a, a restaurant in New Plymouth. It's called Cinnamon. Oh, and, yeah, big shout out. Yes. You know, we went in there and I could see these pictures of, of Udapur, which is up in Rajasthan. And, you know, I said, hey, we've been there. And she said, oh, my husband was the head chef at the Lake Palace. Yeah. And you're like, the Lake Palace, what, that huge hotel? And he's like, yeah. And he's here in New Plymouth cooking our dinner. Yeah. And we were like, and he's I like, know, yeah. and, I know. And, and it was just like, wow. Yeah. And, and then, you know, is the, the, the sun comes out and he goes, oh, this, you know, we really try and keep this authentic. It's like no, no, not too much sugar in it. And, you know, for the sort of um, Western sort of flavors. And it's just one of the best oh. restaurants I've Indian restaurants I've been to. And like to. you say, Udapur. So, with, yeah. like, so in the middle of Udapur is this it's lake. It's the lake city, yeah. Yeah, and on yeah. the middle of the lake is this palace that no one can afford to go to because it's just so special and posh and expensive. Yeah. And he was the head chef. Yeah. And now he's in New Plymouth yeah. cooking our tea. It doesn't get better. It doesn't. No. You know, when you just, you're like, I flew my drone I can't in believe Udapur. this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. And no, the food is top notch. So yeah. big shout out to you. Cinema oh, nine o'clock. Oh. Look at that. Yeah, you just got to listen to that. Like, it's even got a light on the clock. 
and we're sleeping in the bedroom just there and that yeah. clock is lit up all night and it's really bright isn't yeah. it it's just lovely because it just takes me back to being a lad in england because i lived in a village that had a clock just yeah. like that and you could just hear it bang but i used to finish at 10 o'clock at night and the lady who was renting the airbnb to her she said oh the clock's not keeping you awake is it and i was like oh if only you knew yeah. like you know literally yeah. we've opened our window we've opened the sash window in the bedroom yeah. so, so we, can, we can hear it, can hear it yeah. so it's going on all night so yeah Right, okay, right, so number on. seven and our yeah. last one now. How are we doing for time? 26 yeah. minutes. Right, number seven. And we've written, you won't miss family. But we need to explain that because yeah. it's not that you won't miss family when you move to New Zealand. Of course you will miss family. But what you won't miss is that feeling of being looked after yeah. by the friendly people Yeah, you here. won't feel alone. You won't feel no. alone. Because and they, they, they do, you know, if, if, if you can't, if you can't, if you connect with them, that's it, isn't yeah. it? They will connect back with you. I just want you know? to tell you a story. So we've just driven out to Nugget Point today and we went to, what's the name of that place? You said it, I couldn't pronounce um, it. Back to... Uh, Balclutha. Balclutha, well done, Balclutha. right? And so this was like a typical Kiwi cafe, right? So the, to, to give you a bit of backstory, when cafe, we... Cafe number 55. Yeah, when we told our YouTube community that we were coming to the South Island, they said, you have got to go and have a cheese roll. Yep. You have got to go down to the South Island and have this cheese roll. So what we did, we found, we looked around, or I looked around and found this typical, a typical, the most Kiwi cafe I could find. And anyway, it was in this mm -hmm. place that Bryce just said. And I walked in and it was fine until I opened my mouth and they realized that I was English because <laughs> that's, that's another story. But as soon as you start speaking in New Zealand and they, they hear your accent, you can feel a little bit of like, oh, you're not local, like, you know, so. Yeah. You're not from this neck of the woods. No, and she was, an, I don't want to say she was an older lady because she wasn't, she was only about 60 or something like that, but she was like a motherly sort of person, like, you know, not just a, a nice woman, you know. Yeah. And at first she was like, oh, what can I get you? You know, and quite, not st well, a bit standoffish a little bit because we weren't local and we were there. And, and I said, oh, you know, I, oh, we, we haven't tasted the cheese roll. And she said, and she melted. She was like, you haven't tasted the cheese? I can't, this is my Kiwi accent. You haven't tasted the cheese roll, she said. Yeah. Oh, It's a lot softer, the Kiwi accent down here. It, is, it, it really is. is. It's, it's, yeah. it's not like the Taranaki, no, is it? And, and there's the roll in their R's and things, but it's, yeah. So she brings soft. out the cheese rolls and she puts them on the table. And then she said to us, oh, aren't you from here? And I said, we said, no, no, we're from New Plymouth. And we've talked about some waterfalls that we wanted to go to. And we were like, oh, we're, we're thinking about going to some waterfalls, but we don't know if they're too far away. And she just like took us under her wing mm. and she brings the map out. And she's like, oh, you know, you guys you need go to do to a this. Walker, and then yeah. you go past and that and you take a left. And It was all of a sudden like being round at your aunties. You yeah. know, when you go round at your aunties and they look after you. And that's what it felt like. Yeah. And I just thought, here we are, two British people people in yeah. the South Island you've never met us before in your life yeah. and you're warming to us so when we were talking about this show and what to say that's what we said we were yeah, like that's it. if you meet them a very friendly if, if, you, if you're on a level with them they will be on a level with yeah. you they really will like you know and, and, that's the and thing. going back to the British accent I don't know it depends where you are from in, in England but it sometimes it can be a little bit of a hindrance I think right but well, it is yeah but we're not exactly posh are no we, we're like, not you know? but and pe when people get to know you it's yeah. fine but when they first hear your accent yeah, I don't they, know they, 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 yeah. they, they, they're a little bit some, some of them can actually sometimes they go back into themselves and then they almost sound like an old um, Radio New Zealand presenter <laughs> <laughs> and they start to talk a little bit like this to you. And you're like, what are you talking about that for? Just keep that accent. It's lovely. Like, you know, don't change. Story. I've got a brilliant story. <laughs> when we went to, well, I've got a brilliant story. When we went down the coast the other day, when we were going to that Sputnik Museum or whatever oh, no, it's called. No, no, let's just, there's a steampunk museum. That's it, okay, steampunk, steampunk steam headquarters. Let's keep calling it. Sputnik. I Sputnik. thought that's what it's called, but there's yeah. this guy, and he's Not an old. He, he was an old fisherman guy, and he's standing talking to his mates down at the wharf place, just down from that place wherever there it is. is. The, I, slip, the slip, the slip road. Uh, slip, no, the I slip, can't remember the name of the village though that we the went slip to. Slipway for the boats. Yeah, and I can't remember no, the name either. No, but it was like it was gorgeous place. It was gorgeous, yeah. and it's in the middle of nowhere, and we were the only tourists there, and he's talking to his mates about the fish in the water. <laughs> yeah, you know? yes you do. And I went down, I went, oh, hi. And he said, oh, g'day. And I said, oh, you don't know if this fish and... Oh, that was it. I was after a fish and chip shop. I said, you don't know if the fish and chip shop's open, do you? Yeah. And he went, no, no, been closed for weeks or whatever. And then he goes, oh, where are you from? 
And I said, oh, and it's horrible because you can't hide your accent yeah. and you want to try and talk Kiwi, but I, I can't because I just sound like an idiot yeah. if I start talking Kiwi. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not going to pretend. So I said, oh, we're from New Plymouth. I said, and he said, well, what do you think of the place? And I, you know, us, we were like, oh, it's gorgeous. You know, we love it. Is there anything you can recommend? And he said, oh, you should go and try it. Go, go and visit the house up the road, he said. No, no, it was like a manor Lunnock, house. Lunnock, no, right, not Lunnock Castle. Not Lunnock right, Castle, right, no. no right. It was another name of a house. Yes, it like, was. It was just literally down yeah. the road, yeah, on the left-hand side. And there. it's I remember a that stately one, yeah. home, like, yeah. down Traditional just... farm it was. But oh, it was, was an, it? Old, an old, like, an old farmstead, but, like, you know, 1800s. And he looked at me and he goes, I think you'd like it there. It's very aristocratic. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, have they got pies? <laughs> it's King Henry there. <laughs> and I just thought, oh, anyway, that's going off the topic. I know, but, but that's the thing, though. They think that's what you like, but then that's why that's why that's where this comes from, isn't it? Like yeah. things that you you're gonna miss, but that's what you think you're gonna miss is like these things. But and that's what the Kiwis obviously think you're gonna miss as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like go yeah. there because oh, it's aristocratic. Yeah, it's like, yeah I do. know. But yeah. yeah, just that whole homely, welcoming, warm, motherly, uncle in oh, it's just nice. Yeah. It just feels nice and family -y and safe, doesn't yeah, it, Bri? It does. yeah. And while we're on that topic, because we're going to go now because it's gone dark. It's and we're probably, dark, We don't yeah. even know if you can see us. But if you haven't watched our video, Are New Zealand People Kind?, then that video is mm. brilliant. That's yes. the one where we walked down the campsite that time. That's right, yeah, we saw Paul Tito. Yeah, mm. so me and Brian go for a walk down the campsite where we live in our local village, and we just have this discussion, this podcast, about whether New Zealand people are kind, because it's all very well people going, oh, yeah, stay, be kind, and, you know, are New Zealand people kind? But you will go and watch that video, and you'll find out if, if New Zealand people really are kind. And yep. it's a great video. Yeah. And one last little tiny thing from me, which yeah, I wasn't going to bring this up, but things, you know, you won't miss. You know, when, when I was coming to New Zealand, I was thinking, I'm really going to miss me HP brown sauce. What's HP stand for? Uh, how's the parliament? Oh. Or happy. One of the two. Yeah. You're always happy when you've got your HP sauce. Oh. And, you know, you can come down here and you can just get it at any supermarket and probably any four square. Brown sauce, HP sauce. It's important. It's very important. It's important, I Brian. thought I was going to miss that. I you can't know. actually eat a bacon sandwich unless it's got HP sauce no. on it or yeah. scrambled egg. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, that's a good point. So, there point. you go. So, yeah. that's just one little thing. Seven and a half points. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Right. We're not talking red sauce. No. <laughs> no. So go over and watch Are New Zealand People Really That Kind? And I think you're going to love that video. Yep. And until we see you on the other side, I just want to say goodbye. I love Dunedin. Thank yeah. you so much, the Dunedin. South Island. South uh, Island just, rocks. I might just end up moving down there. I think so. Yeah. I think so, Brian. Yeah. 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 Do you, even if it's just for six months and oh. see what it's like and go, is it really that cold? I don't think You've so. kept this secret from us, all you southerners, haven't you? Mm. Hey, you've got, I've got the a bone mainland. to pick with you. It yeah, is the mainland. Exactly. It really, really is. Yeah, yeah. it is. Beautiful. Sure. Right, go yeah. and watch the video then, yep. and go we'll study. see you on the, the other One side. last thing. Oh, God. There's someone on a Ducati <laughs> that keeps riding up and down the street. Who is that guy? We're watching you, Nighthawk. I'm watching you. <laughs> 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 hey, kia kaha. Kia u. Stay strong. Stay true. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Hello. Daddy, I Right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. Hello.